Hey there guys and welcome back to Feed the, Bre Feed the Beast Horizons Daybreaker. This is Casual Kiwi. Uh, this episode, what I want to get into is either a bit of AE3 -E or um, advanced condensers. Some, oh jeez, clang. Something condensers. Um, what is it called? It is... Um, I'm just going to grab this wood. It is condensers. Oh, we've turned off NEI. Oh, we want to... Either equivalent exchange three or condensers. It is this guy here. Simple condensers. Simple condensers is probably what we're going to crack into. I don't know whether these pumpkins are going to grow because there's not enough dirt around them to achieve anything. And this doesn't want to pick up the seeds. Um, it keeps spitting them out to the side. Uh, it collects some of the hemp, but not all of it. So a bit of a strange one. There's a few oddball sort of things going on with some of this stuff. But that's okay, it is what it is. We're collecting a butt-ton of wood now, we've got a bunch of stacks of that and a heap of oak, and we're transferring that via a furnace into charcoal to fuel them. So we're going to need to set up an automated way to do that at some stage as well. I'm going to get rid of this hemp, um, might as well get rid of some of that as well. We're going to want probably half a stack of that, we're going to want all our glass, and what else we're going to need some cobble i think we're actually going to need more of that so we'll grab some more of that um something else i wanted to do was go ahead and make a little bit more food so we've got some eggs we've got some apples and uh, that's not what we want and we've got some bread so we're going to make some egg sandwiches from apple milk and tea and that's four egg sandwiches for just the price of some eggs and some bread. Because we can't make toast in this mod pack for some reason. Um, toast is generally one of the better ones. But it doesn't appear to be working. So that's fine. Okay. Now. Oh, it's becoming night time. We'll quickly sleep. Bada bing, bada boom. Slept. Now. We want to move on to making some things from simple condensers. So to make these, we need to put stuff in the machines from EE3 or equivalent exchange three. So we're going to back out of there. We're going to type in equivalent like so. And we need these four items up here for a start. I don't think we need that. I don't actually know what that does. Um, so we need a calcinator and a loodle base, a glass bell and a research station. So we're going to need all of these. So um, why can I not shift click that in? There we go. Boom. We need some iron, don't we? And we've got a butt ton of iron, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Boom. Boom. One calcinator. One of whatever those is, and a loodle base. One glass bell, like so, and one research station. Bet you we don't have a slab, do we? A wooden slab is what we need. So we will take some of those and throw together, ooh, some lovely birch wood, some birch slabs. Oh, that is nice. And we need a research station. Nice. Boom. Okay, so we've got that. Where are we going to put this stuff? I'm thinking we might put it over here near where our storage is. So I'm thinking we need get rid of that. So our research station can go, I reckon, there. That there can be the calcinator. And then the this guy here can go there because it needs the glass bell on top. Um, why have we got a space here? What else do we need? No, we could probably move that over one. Put that guy right there like that. Lovely. Okay, now we need a few extra things. We need... Um, what is it? We need this guy here, the Tome of Alchemical Knowledge. Now that requires a book, some minium dust um, in the Eludal. So minium dust, I don't actually know how you get it. You get it by burning something. Energy values needed to calcine minium dust is from 8192 to infinity. Now, I'm pretty sure that a diamond, if we type in diamond, has 8192 an equivalent exchange. So if we put one of those guys into here, 
with some form of fuel. Is that going to burn it? No. What sort of fuel do we need? Does it take wood? Hmm. Okay. We need to look a little bit more into that. So equivalent tome of our chemical knowledge. So it appears to be burning chests. Ah, so we need... Hmm. Calcination. It's just wood. I'm sure. There'll be fuel we should be able to burn anything in there ah oh, it's that guy that's why not that one boom this guy here so boom like so and boom like so and that's starting to burn nice I was just in the wrong interface team so that's gonna burn through and hopefully that is gonna give us some of this minium dust which it does lovely and then in this guy we need to shove a book um, so we need that we're gonna need three of you we probably need another um, project table over there to be fair just to make life a bit more straightforward that we need that like so gives us a book so it was a book some minium dust and was it some fuel there as well it was and voila it's doing its job that is going to give us the tome of knowledge beautiful so we have our alchem alchemical tome of knowledge now I'm pretty sure this guy can be placed on there like so nice it is in there I don't actually know what you do with it but that's okay so we have some things to figure out we need to probably get a few more diamonds because we need a bit more minium dust um, what we need to carry on with now is we have those things we need to look at simple condensers these guys here and we need a few things so to get that we need eight verdant dust and a gelatin star to get a gelatin star we need to make a three by three by three structure with ash infused stone with a large alchemical chest in the center right click the center of any side with a suri star and eight minium dust in your person okay so verdant dust the minium is the red so we need eight for that that there is so we need minium eight so we need at least eight crack lacking so we'll do nine because we know we're going to need a bunch like so where is the interface there in the leg we'll actually take that one out and put a piece of wood in to finish the last one off um what else are we going to need we need ash infused stone so ash infused stone that there is from ash infused slabs ash infused stone and that is ash and standard stone in the aludal so how do we get ash we get ash from burning zero to 64 items okay so just some wood in or in that guy so we're gonna need another one of these another calcinator is what we're gonna need so I'm sure we can make another one of those calcinator okay hmm fancy okay but we need another one of them at least maybe two so what we'll do is we'll move that guy over if we can find our pick boom glad that didn't break our tome we'll chuck that there and we'll put one of you in there with eight of you and that should give us some ash we're gonna need a bunch more yep that's giving us ash lovely so we'll grab can we do dirt I wonder if we can burn dirt in this guy I wonder Will that still give us ash? 
I think it will. We will soon find out. It will, fantastic. So we'll use up our dirt for getting ash. That's a nice cheap way of doing that. So what I'll do is I am going to go away. I'm going to burn up a bunch of stuff, get a bunch of infu ash infused stone ready to make the, is it the Suri Star? Um, simple condensers. Oop, misspelled that. Simple LE, simple condensers. We're going to make the Gelidin Star, sorry. So we need. Make a 3x3 three three with ash infused stone with a large alchemical chest in the center. Right okay, so, and we need a Suri star. Okay, so how do we make the Suri star? We'll quickly look at that. Suri star, this guy. We need another minium dust and an ash infused stone. So that is fine. We can do that. We should have minium dust and we should have some ash here. We're going to whack one of those in there just to keep that trucking along so ash infused stone we should we need a blue and project table we should be able to do that and that and that no i think it oh, is actually in this guy isn't it so ash stone and some fuel we'll chuck those slabs in there and that should give us ash infused stone hopefully boom and then okay we'll quickly grab that out we'll chuck in one minium dust and one ash infused stone and that should give us the Sur suri star is it gonna do it is it gonna pull through boom we have a suri star nice fan freaking tastic that that keep that doing its thing and we should be able to chuck some more of this wood in there like so we'll just chuck it all in let it do its thing fantastic this guy's still trucking along making stuff that guy's done i we need eight at least i think we're going to need a few more minium dust than that but that's okay we'll see what we can do what we might do is chuck another stack of dirt in this guy boom as well as some fuel what are we going to use we'll use some of those and that can create us a bit more ash okay i'm going to go away create a bunch more stuff and i will be back soonish i'll see you shortly okay guys i'm back and i think we are ready to make our alchemical chest except for i just realized i missed out one piece one step and that would be making a chest might be quite important eh? boom boom like so there's the door slamming to my house now we need to throw in this guy one chest and one two three four five six seven eight minium dust and then boom that should give us a large alchemical chest now i'm not actually too sure what's so fancy about these large alchemical chests like i said i've never played with this mod before so we'll grab this guy we'll chuck it down my only sort of guess is probably that it is large it is pretty large okay jolly good um do we pick it or do we exit it looks like we exit we do jolly good so we'll get rid of him throw that guy should go in the center of this 3b3 3b3 3 by 3 of ash infused stone i'm not sure how much damage this is going to do to my base hopefully it doesn't like explode or do anything crazy boom and then i think we just right click shift right click no what did we need to do oh no oh no the, and then center right click the center of any side with a suri star and a minimum minimum of eight minium dust on your person okay so forgot the suri star we have the eight minium dust center of any side boom and we have a gelatin star nice and it didn't even blow anything up fan freaking tastic boom okay so next things next we need to make this guy which requires eight verdant dust and the gelatin star fan freaking tastic so we should be able to throw that in like so and that in like so and that is going to cook into our very first condenser now these things are pretty neat basically you can exchange 
items for other items. So fan freaking tastic. Boom, we have ourselves a condenser. Okay, where are we gonna throw this guy? What I'm thinking is, I wonder if we can move, I don't really want that crowding the doorway. We might throw that guy there, like so. Okay, so that has got zero EE in it. Um, what we can do is, because we have a bunch of it, we can throw dirt. Do we need to learn dirt first? I think we do. So I'm not, this is the part I'm not 100% sure about. We need this book, we need in here, we need to put the book in. And then I think actually we need to put the book in that side. And then we need to learn things. So that's going to learn that dirt has a value of one EE or whatever the, the unit of currency is. Boom, that has been learned. Now I'm pretty sure that uh, we need to move the book take him whoa put the book in here and now we should be able to put that in there no put that in there no how do we do this in there and then ask for cobblestone do we ah that's creating cobblestone okay so no we don't want to create cobblestone we want to put whatever we want to make sorry it's creating dirt so we need to learn a few other things what else do we want to learn we want to learn charcoal boom charcoal like so let it learn that like so it's almost done nice it has learned charcoal now be aware it uses the thing when you put it in so if you've only got one left now the tome should go in here we want it to make charcoal we should be able to put in dirt so it is going to use up the ee a charcoal has 32 so if we go like so it is going to use it until it makes charcoal nice boom we keep doing this throw in more and more dirt all the time and it's going to slowly make us charcoal. Van freaking tastic. Now, the next thing we can do is if, say, I grabbed some of these, which are worth a lot more, and chuck in 14 lampus, lapis, it is going to make a lot more charcoal because it is worth a lot more EE. So it's got 5,700 EE in there, and it is just going to pump out a butt ton of charcoal. Now, I forgot to put my timer back on for this episode, so I'm not sure how long I've been waffling on. Um, so hopefully this is all working. But as you can see, we're just getting chunk after chunk after chunk of charcoal ready for running all our machines outside, which is fantastic. Now, we can teach this book to make just about anything in the game. Um, so really really neat we can teach it to make wood we can teach it to make iron we can teach it to make all the resources we really really need so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let this build a few stacks of charcoal so that we don't have to continue using our wood to power our tree farms and all our other farms outside and now all we have to do is chuck a few bits of lapis or whatever has got a high ee value in it and that will give us a bunch of resources Fantastic. Now I'm pretty sure. So that's a stack and four. We can move away and go and do other things. Excuse me, my voice is going a bit croaky there. And if we come back, it should have kept going. And it did. Nice. So I think I'm going to let this just make an absolute butt ton of charcoal ready for running all these machines because I can see that they have failed out there and stopped working. And then I think that I am going to call this episode here. We have got our EE system basically up and running. The next tier of this I want to work towards is the Azure condenser, which we need 16 Azure dust, which is quite expensive. But the difference between that and this model here, the Verdant condenser, is the speed. Like this is going very, very slowly. Um, with the Azure one, it's the mid tier, so this EE will get used up a lot faster but it will create these items a lot quicker which is what we want so that's probably where i may look to go in the next episode i would love to go right up to the minion one but that requires 32 minion dust so to make that we would need 32 diamonds and we also have to go through this stage first so um, we'll have to work our way up to there but anyway i hope you've enjoyed guys thanks very much for watching um 
next episode whether we will do that whether we might do something else we need to look at upgrading our power we have got very little power going on in here um so we'll see how we get on next episode now that we can basically create unlimited resources just by using things we find while mining and whatnot uh, maybe even just pumping wood into this or pumping um, cobblestone into this con continuously to bump up that ee um, we'll go from there okay thanks very much for watching guys don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you next time